Hey guys, it's your Tech Girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel for today. Pahinga muna tayo sa mga flagship devices. I know guys, medyo sunod-sunod ito lately. May dalawa tayong bagong mid-range devices sa A-series lineup ng Samsung ngayon. Alam kong medyo konti ito than usual dahil most of the time, tatlo or apat yung nire-release nila under this series. We have here the A34 5G and of course the A54 5G. But nakita nyo naman sa title ng ating video, this is focused more on the A54 and of course yung kanyang cameras. But don't worry, may pahapyo pa rin naman ko anong bago dito sa kanilang A34. Tapos i-release ko na lang guys yung full review ko very soon. Looking back, do you guys remember yung Samsung Galaxy A18 nila na collab with Blackpink? It was actually still one of my favorite devices from the brand Samsung. And actually guys, I really regret selling that one kasi for me, part siya ng aking journey and of course, parang memorabilia. Wow. Pero yes, the technology behind it, it's actually very cool. And masaya ako na na-review ko siya many years ago. Nakwento ko to because I hope Samsung will also release cool technology like before. Since medyo alam niyo na walang bago sa mid-range scene ngayon. Pero ito, may bago. The A54 5G in lime. When I first heard of this colorway, na-excite ako, aaminin ko. Wow, lagi na lang tayong na-excite. Pero alam niyo naman ang kulay ng A series ng Samsung. Usually, it's pastel. They have phantom white, phantom black. Asa yung pastel doon? Ewan ko din. <laughs> Ba't ka nasabi yung pastel? Pero... Alam kong alam nyo yung sinasabi ko. So, yup, this lime colorway is definitely refreshing this 2023. Before we proceed with our first impressions, like what's new, what's missing, syempre guys, kailan ba to available at magkano siya? The Samsung A34 and A54 5G is now official the moment that you guys are watching this. And yung pre-order niya guys will start this March 15 and magiging available siya sa mga authorized Samsung dealers starting March 31. And this A54 5G guys is available in two variants. Yung 128 retails for 24,990 pesos. And yung 256 gig naman retails for 26,990 pesos. I know guys, medyo nagulat kayo dahil medyo tumaas yung kanyang presyo as compared to when the A53 came out last year. And then for the A34 5G naman, it retails for 19,990 and for the 256GB of storage, it retails for 21,990 pesos. And lahat ng phones and variants na na-mention ko ay available for 8GB of RAM. So wala na tayong 6GB. So what's new with the design of the Samsung Galaxy A54 aside sa ating new colors? Actually, pag nakita nyo siya in person, makikita nyo agad yung bago sa kanya which is the glass back. Yup, A-series is very known guys for their glastic back design na kung saan ito ay mukhang glass pero made of plastic. So this time, glass na yung ginamit sa kanya but do take note yung frame niya is still made of plastic. Also, with this colorway, guys, na lime, kahit na glossy yung kanyang likod, and of course, a glass, kahit na pasmado ko, alam nyo yan, hindi siya ganon ka-obvious. Probably because of the color. Siguro kung black to, kitang-kita na agad kung gano'n tayo ka-pasmado today. Aside from that, the SIM tray, guys, is located on top. Pati yun na rin yung kanyang secondary mic. Below, we got the main mic, the USB-C port, and of course, the speaker grill. Anong nawawala? Obviously, the headphone jack. Well, it's not like it's new because the E53 last year also has no headphone jack. Hindi bago pero still nakakalungkot na wala tayong headphone jack for a mid-range device. Very identical din yung kanilang camera setup sa mga bagong devices nila from their S23 lineup. So I'm guessing ito na talaga yung kanilang pinaka-trademark design na gagamitin for the following years as well. Ang nakikita ko ang takeaway dito, kapag nakatalikod siya without of course looking at the sides or even sa kanyang display, very flagship looking yung kanyang design. Kinuha ko na yung S23. Non-plus ito guys. So talagang makikita natin side by side kung ano ba 
yung differences nila when it comes to looks. Ayan sila, medyo mas rounded lang talaga yung ating Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Pero kung makikita nyo guys, again, they are very, very similar. Buti na lang din talaga guys, yung colors nila is not similar. Kasi nga, wala naman din tayong color white sa A54. Lalong wala rin naman tayong lime sa S23 series. According to Samsung, recycled plastic for side keys and SIM trays yung ginamit nila sa kanilang bagong A54 5G. And then, recycled biomaterials naman para sa kanyang pinaka-back panel. So, yup, hindi lang sa kanilang flagship phones in-incorporate yung Galaxy for the Planet but as well as on their mid-range devices which is good. Now, let's talk about its display. Kung mapapansin nyo, medyo lumait yung screen size natin ngayon. To be exact, we now have 6.4 inches Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display na mayroong 120Hz of refresh rate. Konti lang naman guys, from 6.5 last year sa A53, we now have 6.4. On paper, wala masyadong nagbago sa specs niya sa kanyang display. Actually, totoo naman, wala talaga except the screen size nga. Pero kung titignan mo, medyo naging brighter nga yung display niya. Napapansin ko to, actually, mas napapansin ko to habang tumatagal. Mas nag-improve ito from 800 nits of peak brightness. Ngayon ay meron na tayong up to 1,000 nits. Which is so much better kapag ginagamit ito outdoors. Siguro, if I were to nitpick, the only thing I don't like is really the thick bezels. If we were to do comparison with other devices na nasa same price segment niya or even to smartphones below uh, 24,000 pesos, may mas ninipes pa dito. But other than that, so far, I really appreciate how good the display this phone is giving me. Hindi ko masasabi na flagship level, but definitely worthy of its price. Dalawa din yung choices nyo when it comes to motion smoothness, either adaptive or standard lang na kung saan naka 60Hz lang guys for longer battery life. For reference, ito yung display natin sa E34 5G ngayon. Kung mapapansin nyo, may notch pa rin tayo. And same thick bezels na meron dito sa E54. Pero mas tolerable... <laughs> Mas tolerable guys because of its punch hole. Isa rin sa mga napansin ko during the few days na hawak ko tong device na to guys is the weight. Now that we have a glass back, mas bumigat siya definitely. From 189 grams last year, we now got 202 grams. Not like it's super important and again, subjective naman yung weight din ng smartphone. Yung iba kasi gusto mong bigat, yung iba naman mas gusto magaan. But it's definitely a thick phone. Kung mapapansin nyo, may kakapalan yung device. Now going for its cameras, kung mapapansin nyo, tatlo na lang guys ang camera natin ngayon. Unlike last year na meron tayong quad camera setup. We got a 12 megapixels ultra wide sa pinaka ibabaw. Sa gitna naman we have here the main camera na merong 50 megapixels and lastly the 5 megapixels macro camera. So ano yung wala? We no longer have the 5 megapixels depth sensor and from 64 megapixels main camera, 50 megapixels na lang ito ngayon. I know we're not all about megapixel count but Let's see kung nag-improve ba yung photos through software. Huwag natin kalimutan yung kanyang front camera. It remains the same at 32 megapixels. Yung improvements definitely meron. Again, they are too technical to explain. Pero overall, according to Samsung, the main camera definitely improved. So, yup, tignan natin guys sa mga sample photos natin ngayon. few things of course na bago for me like we can now edit yung kanyang mga photos and remove objects. Well, hindi to bago sa Samsung because we've seen this feature sa mga flagship devices nila. Other than the new object eraser, alam kong curious kayo kung anong itsura ng kanyang camera setup ngayon. We have the usual pro mode, pro video, the single take, night mode, food, panorama, macro, super slow-mo, slow motion, and hyperlapse. Additional thing that I noticed sa kanyang camera app nung nagsasample test ako guys 
nung gabi, automatic na rin yung kanyang night mode. Hindi niya na kailangan pumunta sa more menu to, again, turn on the night mode. Kapag na-detect nung phone na, again, low light nga yung scene, a moon logo will appear. Now, for taking videos, this is capable of shooting 4K up to 30 FPS. This is for the main camera, guys. For the super steady on, guys, ito ay magagamit lang sa ating main camera at hanggang 1080p resolution lang siya applicable. Now, if you guys are curious kung pwede tayong makapag-change ng lenses while taking videos, actually, pwedeng-pwede, guys, between ultra-wide, one times and of course two times and hindi lang yun guys we also get to flip the camera and pwede tayo mag switch to taking selfie videos while again recording now how about performance battery life and operating system may mga upgrades ba tayo when it comes to these actually we still got the exynos chipset guys from the exynos 1280 from the a53 we now got the exynos 1380 we also got an upgraded ram na dati ay merong 6 gig pa pero ngayon lahat ng smartphones na pwede nyong bilhin sa market ay 8 gig of ram na according to samsung 20% faster yung kanyang CPU and 26% faster naman yung kanyang GPU. We're not all about numbers here, pero so far, okay and smooth naman yung experience natin. But again, just like what I always tell you guys, I'm not the biggest fan of Exynos. I know this is Samsung's in-house chip, but I still do prefer Snapdragon. Yung hindi ko na-mention kanina guys, battery and charging speed, this is because we still got the same um, 5,000 milliamp hour with 25 watts charging capability, which is a bit disappointing. Actually, guys, yung 5,000 milliamp hour okay lang eh, kasi alam ko namang mas magiging optimized ngayon because we got a newer chip. The charging speed, medyo disappointing ng konte because we all know, medyo mabagal ang 25 watts for its price. But the good news is, Knowing Samsung, of course, alam naman natin na reliable sila when it comes to software. They promise that they will be having the latest Android OS update four times and the five-year security updates. So to summarize the new Samsung Galaxy A54, guys, ito yung mga so far na notice and of course na experience natin. Better software optimization. Speakers are definitely better. Mas premium yung material. Of course, from plastic, we now have a glass back panel. Brighter display and significant performance improvements. Honestly, clean yung camera layout. I like it. It doesn't look like a mid-range device. The only thing siguro na hindi ko masyadong na-appreciate sa bagong A54 nila is yung kanyang thick bezels. So far, that's it for my first impressions, guys. Let me know kung gusto niyo ng long-term review para naman din doon sa mga hindi masyadong nagmamadali at willing mag-antay. But of course, for the A34 5G na bagong phone din nila, I will be releasing a review very soon, guys. Just let me experience the device first. Inuna ko lang talaga yung A54. Siyempre, alam kong maraming curious sa inyo. That's pretty much it. Again, it's your tech girl, Mary. And I'll see you on our next video. Bye, guys!